this is the first time ever that an Israeli military official has acknowledged that Israel has been providing aid to rebels fighting against the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad. Now what we're hearing from Gadi Eisenkart, who essentially is spilling the beans of what has been until now a badly kept secret, he says that Israel has been supplying rebels with light weapons for so-called self-defense. At the same time, he also says that Israel has been fighting Iranian forces inside Syria, and he revealed some details of those operations. In January 2017, we began attacking the infrastructure the Iranians were building in Syria. The critical mass was from mid-2017. We began attacking systematically a number of times each week without making any statements beneath the radar. This comes as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu continues to threaten the remaining Iranian forces inside Syria. He says that they must get out fast and that Israel won't stop attacking them. Earlier, he denied that Israel was arming rebel forces. We do not interfere in this terribly bloody conflict. We do, however, provide humanitarian aid to young boys and girls. It is expensive, but we will continue to invest. Now, these reports are nothing new in the sense that there have been rumors for quite some time. Back in September last year, the IDF forced the Jerusalem Post newspaper to take down an article in which it said that Israel was providing weapons, ammunition and cash to Syrian rebel groups. At the same time, towards the end of last year, there were reports that a former Israeli defense minister was meeting with Syrian rebels. Earlier, the Wall Street Journal published an article in which it said Israel was providing cash to rebel fighters across its northern border. So this announcement certainly confirms that the rumors that have been circulating are in fact true.